I'm actually going to turn myself or the game up a little bit. Hey, Liana. And hey, Polly. Hey, thanks for the raid. Not that I was playing it at all. I actually have to close out Twitch on my side because it's going to be bad if I do that. Hey, Polly. Hey, thanks for the raid. Oh, shoot. All right. Well, that was great feedback, probably. <laughs> I have my headphones plugged into the TV part and all this. And hey, yeah, uh, hey, Raven. Two poles govern these elements. These eight principles proceed from all two poles. Eight principles. All is as the phoenix. Mithrothon uh, Mithrothon Ultimate Magus. Select file one, file two. So we're gonna go ahead and actually just do a new game here, because file one has nothing on it. File two has a little bit more, but from the cart. We're just going to uh, do a uh, create. Enjoy that. Okay, so we have to choose the gender as it goes. Yeah, it doesn't work. Yeah, the joke doesn't work here. I know. So let's see, we do either... Shoot. I'm going to be a... Buff fighter. Actually, who's this gonna be? Oh, it's not gonna be me. I'm making somebody else. Who has spoken to me on Twitter recently? <laughs> Who is getting... There we go. Um, let me see who has. We're gonna go ahead and give. I, I think I know a name to give this person. As a as a someone who's going to explore a world of dragons. That's how this is going to work. And we ain't going to do a full playthrough of this. This is kind of a, uh, someone gave me the idea to stream Draken. And I was like, okay, we're going to do this. There we go. Or give them. Good, she's our second character. Who has spoken to me? You know what? This 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 one has to be the case. She is the reason why we're playing this. We gotta give her 15 here to somebody. Fifteens are high. Okay, we have three fifteens here. He's gonna be our priest because that's exactly what he is. Look at oh man, look at that priest. There we go. I use him for video games all the time, so we're gonna do that one. Let's see. 
his is going to be... He doesn't have much power. He's got that knowledge, though. He's got that physique. Maybe not much agility, but he's got that intelligence. There we go. And then finally, uh, who wants to be the... Who's going to be the last one? Roll the die. Uh, tell you what, Lila, you shut up to the stream. Yeah, you have to watch the party customization for this. This is actually the very first uh, Super Nintendo RPG uh, in North America. So this this has quite the uh, quite a bit here. begin game. When the dragons were destroyed, a new world was born. But the humans may be destroyed. The humans failed to heed the gods' advice and wiped out the dragons. So the gods made a new world, one for the draken, half human, half dragon. The new draken island world was divided into four parts. They were earth, fire, air, and water. Each area is ruled by two drakens. The human world is in danger of being destroyed by the draken, but the gods have granted the humans a final chance for survival. They will be spared if they can collect the eight tiers on Draken Island. Start your quest by inquiring at Prince Hordkin's castle. His castle lies before you. Go forth, may luck be with you. Would you like a game explanation? All right. Here's how this works. Arrow keys. By using this key, you can move the cursor, characters, or change your view. L and R key. By using L and R key, you can make the characters appear or disappear on screen. A key. Use this key to make selections. B key. lets you cancel your last choice. X key. This key is to select a character, blue lamp, or a leader, red lamp. Y key. This key lets you choose which character you wish to move. Select key. This key reveal. This key reveal the map. The map shows the location of the characters and the direction of movement. Icon explanation. When you want to give a command, press the A button and the sword cursor will appear. Use the control pad to choose an icon. As you see, there's a lot of uh, things here. This one lets you choose a weapon, armor, item, or magic. Detailed character information. Icons and keys. Listen to spoken message again. Take any weapon, armor, item, and reach. Reach, reach. Let's you choose which to use in attacking. Weapon or magic. Icon explanation. Description. Save game icon and then exit a castle. So yeah, there's basically... Battles are waged automatically. However, the leader or selected character can be moved with the control pad. Uh, you may be able to escape an enemy you encounter outs outside the castles by quickly pressing the L or R key. To escape from battle inside a castle, you must flee to another room. So yeah, basically, we're going to be able... You know, there's other things here, too. Items can, you know, replenish HP, MP. Slowly replenished while characters are visible on screen. Survival de deceased characters can be resurrected by certain items and spells. They can also be resurrected by the priests of the Anak Shrines. Then equipment, of course. Others. If any character falls into a river or lake, quickly press the L or R buttons to prevent them from drowning. If you do not seem to be able to move the characters, check to see if a sword icon a cursor is visible in the icon area. If so, press the B button to return to the game. And then with some spoken messages again. Here we go. So welcome to Draken Island. That's a random encounter. There we go. There we go. Oh yeah, it is. It is some good video game. 
I gave a detailed explanation as to how to play this thing. <laughs> there we go. I got some good stuff. <laughs> They're fighting the snake here. They're working as best they can. They're trying. There we go. Snake worm. Oh, okay. I'm trying to enjoy the good music. I, I, by the way, I readjusted my audio a little bit from uh, yesterday. Is it sounding okay? Just making sure. There's a heater on, on in the background, but you know. Gotta get a big Taco Bell in the distance. Okay, sounds good. Okay. So we can actually appear characters on the screen. Do they have a look around? But here, I guess we're going to this Taco Bell. We're gonna go to this Taco Bell. We should grind it first. I'm not actually sure. You yelled at Iffy to get in here? Excellent. <laughs> Just for those who missed the party, uh, this is the uh, this is the party we're going with. <laughs> hey, Sunday. We're playing a we're playing a Chemco RPG made by well, well no we're making an infogram playing an infograms RPG ported by ported and kind of remade by Chemco for the SNES even though it was originally a PC Amiga whatever system game it was for but you just stepped into the K Castle of the Earth Prince Hordkin. I know, oh baby. Yeah, it definitely is. This is one of the first RPGs to uh, come out for the SNES. I think this was the first RPG in North America. Oh, this is the this is the SNES. Hmm. Thomas should have looked at a walkthrough to double check what he has to do because he's done a little. I've done a bit of this game before, but oh, touch my sign. Touch my sign. Oh, it's Earth. Fire, earth, air, and water. Okay, so it's over here. Here we go. A slight breeze from below the drapes. Yeah, okay. And I'm seeing it. Short sword. Okay, yeah, the mage. They're, they're, they're looking for a place to stand. They're having a good time. Hawk, hawk, draken. I 
if you got Buckler. Let's see, so... Oh, you have 4 HP now. Yeah, you're getting decked. Maybe we should, uh, fix that. Yeah, Drakened. <laughs> oh shoot, we got a rod. Hey, June. As you see, we are playing an infograms or an infograms game ported by Chemco to the SNES. The original is a uh, PC RPG, which is not my... It isn't June again. <laughs> a weird noise coming from the next room. <laughs> you are my Majiba. Although we are kind of just, I am appreciating this music. I like, it, it's hard to say this. Um, I like whatever sound drivers or, or whatever sampling that Kemco had um, on the SNES, or like even like the NES and the SNES uh, for either of those. I, I really like their music sometimes. <laughs> uh, this is definitely like one of those soundtracks. Like, there's a specific sound to them that I like. Oh, shoot. You should meet Princess Hord Hordka. Please tell her this. Her brother has become a terrible enemy of the ninth tier allies. Oh, okay. Ninth tier allies. Nothing unusual. <laughs> like me, yeah. Bunch of dra bunch of dragon, half dragon, half men. Deities of some kind. I'm just exploring this neat castle before we do anything else. The meal is not ready yet. This has Trogdor vibes. Uh, you might be right there, actually. <laughs> There was a, uh, there was a, um, a Twitter quote thing going around of what line from, uh, Homestar Runner, uh, has, uh, crept into your life. And the one that's done it for me is, uh, 
is of course kids don't play with too many knives. Okay, fine, we're leaving the kitchen. I don't want to take your kitchen, it's fine, we're, we're in here. You don't know, you know, just picked up anything, you just picked up anything from it. It's... Oh shoot, now we're on, now we're outside. I might as well do a save here. There's still this door up here. There we go. Um, I, I'm, I guess I'm going to do, like, Xenoblade music here. Um, oh, okay, we're good. <laughs> I mean, the combat's basically Xenoblade. Yeah, Homestar. Um, a lot, lot of middle school energy there. That I understand. Look, there's a lot of text in Xeno in Xeno Gears. Oh yeah, uh, Xeno Xenoblade music. Um, yeah, Chrono Trigger's good. Xeno Gears is a lot of a lot of story. I, I completely understand. <laughs> it's a lot. I was trying to think if we would actually meet this prince guy here, but we're just exploring. Oh we got a key. I will say this: a lot of Xeno, a lot of Xeno Gears does come from the fact it's also like a, it is a localization from 1998, and it's not a very strong one. Uh, it, it's got some localization issues, um, and it has a lot of weird, has a lot of weird set pieces that kind of, like the game itself, it does have a lot of weird set pieces that kind of come out of nowhere. Um, I think there are some fantastic moments in that game, though. Um, Anything involving Zeobium, um, which is a later thing in the game, uh, is fantastic. Um, the Tower of... Everyone will complain about the Tower of Babel, but that's a really good moment in that game. Um, the set... A lot of the first disc is a lot of jumping back and forth between different set pieces, um, where they may not relate to each other that much. They, they try to tie the, itself together throughout, I think once you get off that first continent, that game kind of starts firing pretty hard, um, especially. Uh, but it takes a long time to get off that first continent. Um, and there are parts in that first continent that are really good, though. I'm not trying to say they aren't. Um, Gameplay-wise, it's pretty stand... It's... There's not much difficulty to it. Once you understand like how to get death blows... How to uh, link death blows together for uh, one particular boss? You'll have the combat down no problem, and the mech combat's its own thing. It's mostly just trying to manage fuel, <laughs> which is the probably the most interesting concept in it. Um, but like the Shavat, yeah, like the like a lot of the story stuff involving uh, Zeobium, Shavat, um, 
then of course the uh, the floating city in the sky that I'm thinking of right now, uh, the other one, Solaris. Yeah, that that that's really good. Oh, this place is sacred. Are we fighting this guy or is he? Oh no, yeah, we're fighting this guy. Ooh, is he hurting us? Nope, we're good. Got a medium robe. Yes, yeah, the soundtrack again. The soundtrack's so good. Um, that, that's another Mitsuda. Uh, that's uh, pre Chrono Cross. That's another one I think that's right up there with Chrono Cross. Turn the handle after you check the marks on the floor. After you check the marks on the floor. It doesn't have Gale. It has um everything else though. As far as the philosophy stuff in Xeno in Xenogears goes, it is a little of uh, there probably could have been a little more work into it. I'd say it's it's impressive to the everything. It's impressive for ninety eight. I will say, <laughs> but uh, it is definitely a, a game that you kind of have to. I, I get to put it into its own place of where it is. The blue looks are born of earth and water is in the god's stomach. The other one had something else to say. Oh, all right. Dinner is good. some frames here, but it looks like it's maybe mellow. We'll see how it goes. It's been kind of a weird... There's a big scorpion. bone arrow can you use say okay door that opens somewhere, and that's what we're looking for. this to take. Yeah, we got Buckler again. I'm actually not sure how we're doing experience-wise. I know that's a thing, but... Got a rod. Oh, 
Oh, we got EXP there. Look, it's this horrible game. Hey, Iffy. We were playing the greatest game. It's probably not the greatest game, but you know, it's... It's here. But Iffy, you're in this game. That's you. You're, you're Iffy. Along with Yuki, Brian, and Lila. Hi, at you. I'm come back through in here. You were naturally, yes, naturally the thief. That door opened. I believe this is the door that opened. Or... Did I find a key somewhere? He's peace. <laughs> I swear there was a key I found earlier, but... Hmm. I know this is not a great game, however... It is the first North American released... The Dragon Prince. I haven't even run into him yet. I just swore you run into him a lot earlier than I'm doing right now, but maybe that's just me streaming. Sheer spite. <laughs> you learned this game just based on that you had it or had it available and you had to play it. You had to complete a hatred for it. That, that, you know what? I, I respect that. I saw that before. Whoa, that's the guy. Shall you read this? I'm gonna read this. Welcome, humans. I am Prince Hordkin, lord of this castle. I have a favor to ask of you. My sister, Princess Hordka, resides in her castle in the east. Go and tell her I wish to see her. I await her kind reply.
looks big. Looks like a thing I can take. It's a light curious. You know what? I'm gonna have this person. I'm gonna have Yuki take it. <laughs> I think it's hilarious, to be honest. Just walking in circles. Back with food, walking in circles. Having a good time. and you're hangry. <laughs> I actually don't know what I'm doing exactly, but equipment wise, but we're gonna I'm just playing around and Oh, where'd the rest of the party go? Gotcha, okay. Gotcha, okay. Well, I mean, yeah, because there's there's, uh, there's only one sprite on... You know, there's only one character on screen, screen with sprites. <laughs> the liquid of the, st of the steaming fountain goes off in an acrid... An acrid, acrid smell, huh? Okay. Interesting word. Can we take it? <laughs> okay. I bet. Uh oh. Oh shoot, yes, here we go. Uh, I'm gonna do Xenoblade music. Uh, I'm prepared to run if anything goes bad. There we go. <laughs> I mean, this battle system is basically Xenoblades. <laughs> Crap. Let me get out of here. Yuki got that level two, so we're good. 
Everybody else has to get a level two, but that's okay. I think like the like to actually like beat this game, you just have to get to like um like level eleven or so, something like that, from what I've seen. I could say uh it's not too long of a game, from what I understand. Yeah. Yeah, it's something like that. I did. I did sing a little bit of all hail, sh hail shadow yesterday. I guess we're going east. Oh, is it extra Y? Okay. Oh, it is. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it is X. I may have accidentally hit X or something at one point. Curious about something. Okay, we can't explore these caves together. Okay. There we go, Iffy. Getting those level ups. Oh yeah, she has a bow right now too. That's that's what's helping. Okay, I just can't I can't even save yet. I can't save in castles, I think. I will admit, these dungeons are actually kind of neat. Are you killing everything right now and just hit level four? <laughs> uh, what's going on right now? Okay. What if I kept doing that? <laughs> I have to think about this for a second. <laughs> your air pony is cursed. You have channeled your anger through the game itself. Mm. Ify and I are past the uh, specific point in Cold Steel 4 where we can joke about this now. <laughs> and only, only Ify and I will understand. Polly will understand soon.
if you all wish to join us, uh, I have nine RPGs that I think you should play through. <laughs> Eight and a half. <laughs> okay, anyway. So everybody else is like level two or one. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> June, you're already three games in. You're three games in already. Lila has one of the nine. You're not going further this year. This year. <laughs> you 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 did Sky the Sky trilogy. You're fine. You're absolutely fine, June. <laughs> At this point, if you need to uh, take a break, this is the best time to take a break or jump off. <laughs> One day. That'd be good. Have we done everything that we can do in this area? I just like seeing the big dragon. The big dragon boy's nice. The song is neat too. I don't know why. I like it. Yeah, I think so. I think we're pretty much done here. Hopefully we're strong enough and that we can not die. Brave and stream like me. I have, I haven't played much of this. Yeah, that usually does in RPGs when you don't fight everything. Although to be fair, I like RPGs with a little bit of difficulty myself these days. But something like this, this is a uh, a very different kind of game that just. Yeah, you gotta fight everything. <laughs> he's he's peacing. See you, guy. Right. Just enjoying that music. Look at that party. They're all good. They're they're good though. All right. Leave the head east. Huh? Are we facing east? I hope we are. Okay, there's the Annex Shrine. Yeah, if you walk into water, part of it just starts drowning. I think the game the game actually warns you about that. direction I'm going. We're gonna find out. Oh yeah, by the way, this 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 music right here, this is the good stuff. You know what? I've learned in this game not to touch random objects. That's that's one thing you learn about this game. Don't touch random objects on the on the overworld.
Those are like the arrows that tell me where everything is. Okay. Whatever that thing is. We got Jade. Oh, shoot. Oh, am I too far north? Okay. Uh, that's water. Uh... swimming. There we go. <laughs> They're all trying to swim. So we're going to look at the stars until they attack us. You heal when, uh, when your party's on screen, so... Just gonna look at the stars. Or are these spiders to attack us. <laughs> this is accurate. Okay, I just went too far north then. Okay, that must that must have been going like northeast or something. Lizard people. Let's see. There's an annex shrine. Like, right next to us. That's the annex shrine. And it only only revives, right? I'm just checking out anyway. Despite our differences. We'll find Oh okay, the heals too. Okay. <laughs> the priest Draken of Anak. Long ago I knew you would come here. The dragon princes fight each other and soon evil will be triumphant. From now on I intend to confront the evil. Come again, then I will give you some useful news. You gonna tell us about sports? Okay, well, that's not useful news. Oh wait, now I'm gonna save. All right, we are heading to a dungeon. I think it, it, I think if we go this way, I think we'll find it. I hope the sun rises from the east. <laughs> Maybe I'm correct, I think we might be all right. Alligator. 
alligator. So, uh, Iffy, how am I doing? Am I, uh... I, I honestly, I've not actually played this far into the game ever. So, <laughs> I hope I'm doing okay. <laughs> Like, I think the farthest I've played is looking at the dragon guy. At, like, level one still. Flat fuck Friday came early. As the next area? Okay, so. Still not as good as Iffy. That'll never happen, but you know. Okay. Roads. Someone tells me not to touch that thing. I mean, to be fair, this is a very impressive looking game. Even though it runs at a very slow frame rate, this is there is no FX chip. There is no e extra chip coming in this game. That's a fireball. Yeah, there's nothing extra in this game's uh, anything. This is just the SNES doing this. Not bad for an Amiga port. Yo, I see your castle. Yo, we made it. Not bad for not wearing pants. This is Prince's Horde, his castle. Prince Horde can troop attack. Oh, oh, quickly, this castle was in ruins. You are a messenger of Prince Hordkin. He is the brother of Prince's Hor of Hordka. Prince Hat Hagkin's troops captured Prince's Hordka, but they also captured the humans she had been sheltering. Please, as quickly as possible, warn Prince Hordkin of this. Oh, great. Okay, guess we're going this way. Oh, we're going back. <laughs> There are eight dragon prin there are eight dragon princes things. I'm not that confused. It, you know what? I'm just kind of letting it happen. We're trying to create the ninth tier. There's a whole bunch of dragons who don't want to create the ninth tier because that would mean like making peace with humans or something. And we can't have that. <laughs> or they can't have that. And to be fair, it sounds like the humans deserved it. It's like a Falcom. What if Falcom did a Draken sequel? What would happen? Uh, that would be something. Yeah. Tree bump. <laughs> yeah, but we get this rockin' music though. I'm not too not too mad about it. Oh yeah. Now, I'm not planning on doing like a full playthrough of it. I'm mostly here to scare Iffy for a little while, uh, because that's really fun. Peril of uh, playing through Draken. Oh, Byron got a Sage's Ring. Byron reached level two. Heal Miner. Gotcha. That makes it the desert area. Here's that Annex Shrine again. Everyone's <laughs> a big fan. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna assume that's what's going on now. Um, everybody's just in a big van. They piled into the big van, and we're gonna we're gonna go visit some dragons.
I didn't need much healing, but you know, that's all right. I'm facing north right now. I don't want to go north. I'm going to go west. <laughs> We're just driving our big minivan. Driving a big van through the forest, visiting the island of Draken. Having a good time. See, John and Cecile are playing Aroga games, and I, I don't, I haven't found the Aroga game that I want to play yet. So we're just gonna play Draken. thing, I guess. I don't know. Someone's into dragon. Someone's into half-human, half-dragon people. That's not a... That's not a guess. I know some people who are. <laughs> I did! Um, that was, uh... Uh, what's that? run from that. Even Hordkin's castle was left a pile of rubble. To see the rubble castle go east to that intersection. Oh. Oh. I'm trying video game. It's gonna be a spider. Oh come on, I am I am walking away. That was a different dragon sprite, at least. I'll take that. There we go. A lot of money. A lot of jade, I guess. Is that what we're calling it? Wait, am I walking backwards through the arrows, or...?
Wait. <laughs> I'm gonna take your word for it. <laughs> Probably wants me to go through that intersection from earlier, but you can walk back. Oh, there it goes. I there we go. Dragon people. There we go. I see what you mean now, though. Okay. And now we can keep going west. Okay. There we go. That was a shark. Well, never mind that. <laughs> All right, where's the Hanek Shrine? Up there, huh? Guess <laughs> gave me a heart attack too. Holy shit! <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> So is Byron. <laughs> Byron's dead too. Byron was just eaten too. <laughs> uh, um. All right, guess we're going to the annex shrine. <laughs> well, um. Yeah, maybe you will get EXP now. <laughs> okay, that was funny. Hold on. Uh, give me a second. I can't go north. It's all up to you. I can't go north. Because it won't let me do that yet. Okay. I have to make it down to that corner. Actually, the goal is going to be to hit things with the L and R button really fast. Or... Or Lila can hit things. Or Lala can hit things for 25 points of damage. <laughs> Alright, I need you to hit this lizard for a lot of damage again. Oh, oh, actually, now Lala's just dead. Oh, oh. Um, oh, oh, leveled up. Is it just from your last save? Because it looks like that's what it is.
So yeah, it, it's actually it we're actually pretty far still along. I saved right after I hit the Onyx Shrine again, so. Anak. Oh. Oh, I'm too north. Okay. Too north again. the sun setting in the west as the sun usually does so thus we're going west <laughs> if he taught us walk backwards we're gonna see a big lizard again Big lizard. Good job. I'm actually going to do something real quick. I think I have a way to help Lila get level ups. That's right, we have two bone arrows. See what happens. I don't know how I don't know what's gonna happen, but it will. Okay, where is that castle? I passed it. Can use, wizards can use bows. Plenty of RPGs have wizards using bows. Okay. I will find this in this <laughs> flat polygon-like world where arrows are flashing on the ground. And dragons appear out of nowhere to tell me to walk backwards. So we're east. We're facing east right now. Don't step in the water. There we go. Now, we're going to do this smartly. <laughs> I'm going to save right here. <laughs> and now... We are going to cross this bridge. I did it. <laughs> Dang. Wow, I just shot that guy. Hurry up, the prince awaits you.
<clears throat> Prince Horkin goes into a rage as he hears what happens to his sister. Princess Hordko was abducted by Prince Hagdon's troops. What? How dare you brazenly return here with such news? Hagdon's castle is in the North Swamp. I will make your body strong so you can overcome all dangers. <laughs> Alright. So, are we good now? Alright. Now we can go anywhere. We can watch this guy dance, though, first for a little bit. <laughs> Dancing. Alright. Have something new. The doors are locked. I've already been in there anyway. It's fine. So now we go north. But the stars are going to attack us, probably, so... You know how it works. <laughs> this is Drek and everything wants you dead. Even the stars. Step in the water. Oh. Did Iffy's buckler break? That's a helmet. Alright. See ya, Sayara. Ship broke. Yep. Probably noticed the song is still really, really good. <laughs> I can imagine if he has put a bucket on her head and said that she's invincible. I that I don't think that's just a guess. That it's a uh, that is something that's actually happened. I can't do the horrors that await you. That's true. There we go. Either that or she's wandering straight into Wario's, uh, to Wario's uh, thing. Oh, there we go. They're coming for me. The stars are coming for me. Uh, that's scary. Can we fight it? How are we doing? No? It left. Okay. <laughs> I 
That sounds like tracking, all right. That's just an alligator. See you later, alligator. Uh, that is a wave. That's just a wave. Uh, surf's up. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm... <laughs> Alright, I crossed the bridge. I'm now way over here. There's an Onyx Shrine over here, too. Okay. Onyx Shrine to my right. Dungeon to my left. I'm facing north. And there's an inn, etc. Down here. And this is a pool of slime. <laughs> yeah, there we go. That's a that's a puddle of water. Oh, Byron is dead. <laughs> Byron is dead. Well, it's time to go back this way. Uh oh. Shoot. Shoot, hold on, I gotta check something. It's okay, that was my fault. I hit the reset, I hit my reset button. Hold on, let me check something real fast. Uh, yeah, darn, uh, that's a bad, that's a bad one. Hold on, let me fix this. Um. Yeah, I hit that. Hold on, let me do that. It's alright, we're good. <laughs> Too it's okay. I saved right after we uh, visited the one guy. Uh, Byron is still alive then. <laughs> As planned, completely. Oh, what happened? I I hit the I hit the the reset key accidentally. It's a, that, that's apparently a bad combination for the uh, particular game I'm playing right now. So. I changed it something a little worse. Something better. At least I won't hit it accidentally. That was my fault. That wasn't the game. That was me. I'm using the, uh, to do the, uh, the, what I'm doing here. I'm using the, uh, Analog's, uh, Super NT to play this. And you can set a, uh, soft reset key for that. It's kind of like actual hardware, but uh, it's running through an HD, running through an HDMI cable, without the lag. So you know, that's basically what's happening with it. Th this is my cool rad Super Nintendo that does awesome things. <laughs> this is what I use for uh, game the Game Boy streams as well. Along with the uh, Super Game Boy. Because how else will I uh, do all that? Oh, my God. 
I'm gonna take a look for something here real quick. <laughs> the knights that make Galaga sounds. There we go. Look at that beautiful annex shrine. I think we're actually healed all right, but you know. Onyx Credit Union Bank. <laughs> I am of the ninth tier allies. We believe in reincarnation. We hope to be reborn so our world need not destroy yours. Friend, the light around you is hearts is our heart's ending song. Fate will slay the strong, and those laid beyond death's doors, they will live once more thanks to the jade. Show me your wounds that I might cure them. I might soon cure them. <laughs> Anak. I mean, it makes sense. If you're, you know, like, real into it, I guess. They're talking about the ninth tier. They said they want to make the ninth tier. Which will be like the. Which will, will show its humanity's final test is to create the ninth tier. And like the hooded people are dragon people. I think. I don't know. I'm guessing. I'm just sort of guessing a little bit. I'm not actually like 100% sure on that. Oh, what do you say? He's a wandering merchant. What do you got? Medium buckle. How much does this cost? Yikes. Okay. It's pretty good. <laughs> wow, okay. Yikes. Okay. Thanks, merchant. Now I know how much mo things cost in this game. This, like I said, this was a very early SNES game. Like, this was 91. So, like this is, this is before Final Fantasy IV in North America. <laughs> PTA Black Market. Look, I am that kid that definitely traded old video games for Yu-Gi-Oh cards back in the day. Um, that's actually how I have my copy of Kirby's Dream Land. <laughs> so, uh, I, I have definitely acquired some weird stuff throughout. <laughs> that, that, that is part of some of my collection and stuff I've... Fooled kids into giving me Yu-Gi-Oh cards, giving me games for Yu-Gi-Oh cards. They didn't want them. <laughs> this wasn't one of those. I, I I actually bought this one. I think on my own for like five bucks. <laughs> so like I didn't pay much for this game. <laughs> so I'm not coming at this game from buying it in 1991 new for my new SNES. Um. 
<laughs> this game is in Florida. Well, we're in kind of a swampy territory, so yeah, this is Florida. Yeah, this is Florida, right here. I, I know where you're coming from. I'm... Oh. I guess we're not going there, huh? Man. I want to go to the neat-looking castle. Wow. <laughs> Oh, I do have a spell. You're absolutely right. I do have a spell. Who has that spell? spell mm. equip menu let's see Oh, right here. Oh, right here. Okay, I see it. I see it. I see it. Unlock. There we go. Yo, we unlocked the door. The Water Prince. Hagkin. <laughs> All right. So, doors are unlocked. I bet we touch a seal, don't we? <laughs> you open the door. Shoot, Lila learned fireball. Um, the water symbol is, uh, is it this one? There we go. It was one of those. That was a clue from a previous dungeon I paid attention to, I think. The room is alive with zombies, as Prince Hagkin likes to call them. Uh -oh. If you got air staff. Okay, frames of action been pretty good. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna... You got a... What's that an item? Air staff is an item. You are, uh, y you are of the Megamine, uh, predilection of, uh, how magic should work then, huh? One spell a day, but that spell is the biggest explosion you can cause. The color of hope is not always a sign of goodness. That's an interesting puzzle.
Can you, uh... Curious. When priests stand at the center of Stonehenge and chant a spell, something will occur. Hmm. I'm assuming that's on the world map. And priest, that must mean my, my priest Byron here. Don't tell me that summons the black wolf thing. That's scary black. <laughs> SNSC Now that background is nice. That is a nice background. <laughs> Maybe that's the case. <laughs> nah, it's intentional, I'm sure. We should recover a little bit. Mm. If we wait right here, I think we'll recover. Maybe. We will. Just a little bit. Everyone stretch. There we go. <laughs> Obliterated. Well, you know, that's any bat in the, in a JRPG. Or any RPG. I guess it's not a J... <sighs> now I have to think about semantics. Is this a JRPG? Because it's not a JRPG, but... It is an RPG... Ported by a Japanese team... But it's originally a PC... Er, uh, see, I'm already crossed. It's okay. <laughs> that already happened. That's right. <laughs> Alright, sorry if you happen to say this. Your, your sprite makes you look like you're not wearing pants. I think you might... I, I know that's the case as well too. There is an argument to be said though that a JR that, like the JRPG just means is, is a RPG made in Japan. Like that, that's kind of a uh, a thing from it. But yeah, this is a this is a Western RPG originally, so that's kind of a thing. It's just a it's a port. It, it's a port, but it's also kind of its own version at the same time. It's a little weird. That's probably an exit over there. I don't want to do that yet, though. It's a nice chair, though. It's, it's Florida. Too hot for pants. Hey, good. I'm looking for the prince's room. Oh, wait, unless you're, uh, you know, not attacking us, I guess. You're one of those guys that's going to peace out. Okay.
Americans are just like prisons. Okay, there's like four doors here. Iffy, you're at level 7 now. <laughs> oh, I guess we're... Okay, no, we're, we're fine. Just... Okay. <laughs> Lopsided levels. I'm not sure what's going on here, but okay. Just gonna check something. A oh, Byron walks in a circle. <laughs> nice. Heal miner. There we go. Do have that heal magic. MP also recovers by standing still, so that's good too. Uh oh. Heavy shield. I'm assuming that leads outside. And I don't want to do that yet. I guess I could. Uh, Byron, get over here. Oh no, it's Lilai. Lilai gets over here. Time for Lila to do her stuff. Unlock that door. There's a door over there, but I'm gonna look over here real quick. I hate when noises happen. Oh, can't see anything. Guess we need a torch. Uh, someone does have a torch, actually. Unlock somewhere. Uh, 
Uh, Ify, you are level 8 now. <laughs> okay. Well. I don't know what's going on, but that's fine. If someone can, if someone is able to face the horrors of Draken, it'd be Ify. Usually there's like beer in barrels or like wine. We're just all gonna sit in here and drink wine. Ah, oh, shoot, there's a chain. Chains mean good things. Aww. I was touching that multiple times, but that's okay. A strange pool, huh? Run, 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 run. Okay. He doesn't have a torch, does he? Hmm. I hate to do this. Swim, Iffy. Ask your younger brother. Oh, Prince Nathkin, his castle is in the northeast. Okay. Okay. I can't have any more. If you got key. Oh, we full weapon and armor. I could probably drop something. Drop boots. Hold on, no. Um, drop jacket.
They played one game of Boggle and took names from it in this game. Now wearing pants in the uh, bottom sprite, but the upper sprite's still good. All right, well, we made it out. Oh. <laughs> I love how it just stays locked. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna save and I've actually been playing for about two hours here uh, so this has pretty much been Draken um, I might have the crazy idea to keep going but I don't know yet I, I might do that we'll see I decide on like Wednesday or Thursday or something if I do this again I might actually do this again this is this is kind of I will admit there's a sick pleasure I have to this game I think this game is kind of fun <laughs> I like figuring this out, and Iffy being here actually does help a lot. Uh, Iffy being here is like actually making this a lot better because she actually knows this game. <laughs> but I don't know if that's your schedule. I don't know. I don't know if you're gonna keep watching my streams here, but this is when I usually stream. Uh, but yeah, this is a uh, this is actually a pretty good time though. <laughs> But it is a uh, it, it is a cryptic mess of a game. I would never have figured out that walking backwards bit. <laughs> um, I usually try to stream like Monday, Thursday, and like a weekend. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> I'm not sure yet, but we'll. Uh, I might decide to go ahead. Now nah, we won't play Draken anymore. But this is actually a fun like a fun game to kind of dig into, kind of look at as a uh, just kind of as one kind of thing. So, it is kind of, it's a neat game, though. Even though it is its own thing. Or I could just play its uh, Chemco developed sequel instead. That is probably better. <laughs> I have that, too. So, <laughs> But anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and actually uh, head off for now. Because uh, I'm getting sleepy. So, I'm going to go ahead and let y'all go. Uh, thank you very much for coming out again uh, and watching. And uh, thanks for joining me for this uh, weird esoteric RPG that existed in 1991 once. So, uh, thank y'all very much, and, uh, hope y'all have a good rest of the evening. And, uh, y'all take care. So, see ya!